Welcome to Inside the Islanders. I'm George Matthews, guesting with me number 12 of the Charlottetown Islanders, Spencer Cabold. For Spencer, he's played 14 games with the Charlottetown Islanders, just a touch north of half a point a game or more, at, uh, four goals and four assists. Spencer, I've had a chance to watch you play four or five times here at the East Link Center, but uh, an overall evaluation of what type of player you bring to the East Link Center here in Charlottetown when you're playing here. I think just uh, hard working energy forward that uh, can contribute offensively from time to time and just... Uh, you know, just hard work and style, and that's that's my game. Provide some energy. Energy, and you don't mind the physical stuff either. Yeah, no, I'm I'm a smaller guy, but I don't mind don't mind getting into that physical attribute either. So, yeah. You've come uh, to Charlottetown. You've been here for about six weeks at this particular point, Spencer, and uh, you played in the Ontario Hockey League with with Mississauga. Uh, how do you compare the Ontario Hockey League as compared to the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League? Oh, uh, like I don't know. There's like. There's great players in all in both leagues. They're both great leagues, but uh, there's not much of a difference, you know. I, I found the uh, in the OHL maybe uh, a bit less run and gun, but here there's a lot of skill, a lot of skilled forwards. So it's more run and gun style, I find, but not much different. What about the toughness of the league? Oh, there's some pretty tough guys in in both leagues, and it's hard to hard to really say, you know. I guess it's just different every year. What about the travel of uh, the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League compared to the Ontario Hockey League? I know that there's some long trips to Quebec. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, I'm going to have to go. Uh, the OHL is definitely better than that in that aspect. Uh, uh, but, you know, I got used to it. Good guys and stuff, so the road trips aren't that bad. Started the year in Mississauga, year three there. You, you played a couple of years with St. Mike's slash Steelheads, that organization. Uh, you start the year there. Somewhat surprised you didn't finish there? Uh yeah, kind of, but you know what? The team was kind of going in a, in a younger direction, and uh, they're doing they're doing pretty well over there. So I don't mind. I don't mind. You know, had, having to leave there, it kind of was tough. But but coming here is a better opportunity for me. So we just uh, me and the coach saw eye to eye on that. So that's kind of how it worked out. Of course, when you talk about Mississauga and Major Junior Hockey, you had the St. Mike's program, the, uh, the Majors program, now the Steelheads program. Dave Cameron, who comes from uh, Prince Edward Island, was a huge part of re-establishing Major Junior Hockey in the Mississauga area. Yeah, for sure. Like I was, I was there the year after, but uh, him and his staff uh, scouted me and drafted me that year. So, uh, but he's he's done a great job there, and the new coach James Boyd, who's, who was his assistant, he he definitely trained him really well and gave him gave him some good keys to the game that he picked up from and he's doing a great job with that team now and of course along the lines with Dave Cameron his son Connor uh, is an assistant coach here with the Charlottetown Islanders some early thoughts on on his abilities behind the bench oh Connor is a great coach knows a lot about the game and he's young so it's only going to get better from him there and I think he can really help the team good good D coach back there what about now, uh, when I take a look at your bio, you come from Stittsville, uh, Ontario, uh, just west of Ottawa, but also the home of Jack Nevins. And you got to be pleased, you got to be pleased that uh, a guy from Stittsville gets signed uh, to an NHL contract. Uh, it's certainly motivation for yourself as well. Yeah, for sure. Like, I've known Jack for a bunch of years. He's, he's a great guy. And, you know, what? Better to, better to see that happen to him than anyone else. You know, he deserves it. And that's just great to see. Of course, at the start of the year, it might have been a little bit up in the air what Jack was going to do, but he returns, and it gives uh, players like yourself that motivation that things aren't working out early uh, in your major junior career, but you never know when, the, in fact, the tide's going to turn. Yeah, exactly. Like, for Jack, that was just a kind of a Cinderella story, but you know what? He came, worked hard all summer, and it happened for him, so I guess, yeah, you're right. You never know. Yeah, you, you, you're right. That you, you actually never do know. There's no doubt about that. Uh, when you look at this Islanders team right now, uh, you've been here for 14 games. The uh, the Islanders started out at 10-2-1, uh, and one, had a lot of success, and you've heard about that uh, since you got here, no doubt. The last 16, 17 games, not as much success at this particular point, but let's pick the, the, the team apart here just a bit. Uh, from what you can see here, what do you like about this hockey club right now, despite what has happened over the last, uh, as I say, 14, 15 games? You know what? I like that everyone's still sticking together through all this and that shows that this team will like we're gonna get out of this slump and hopefully we do it next game so you know what just no one's given up on each other which is good so that's shows a lot about the team and the character of the team and everyone on staff here 
that's important when you're a young team to have the character as well. What improvements, just uh, as you see it here right now, what changes perhaps have to take place within the team and on the ice for for your team to uh, turn the corner here? Oh, I don't know. I'm I'm just a player. I'm, just, but I think uh, the great GM there, Grant, he knows he knows what what's going to happen and changes that are going to be made. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. That's the right answer. There's no doubt about that. When you look at some of the personal side uh, of you as well here. Spencer, uh, when you take a look at hobbies right now, you're here, you've been here for about six weeks. What are some of the special hobbies that you have? Oh, well, I'm big into fishing. I, I love doing that. do that all summer long with my buddies. And uh, I was, uh, I came here just a tad too late to get into the deep sea fishing here. So I was kind of disappointed about that, but maybe in the future I'll have to come back and get that going. That's going to be quite a challenge. Some of those tuna you're talking about, of course, obviously close to a thousand pounds would weigh five times what you do, but that would be quite a battle, but you're, you're up for it. Oh yeah. You know, got the working on the pipes every day. So hopefully I'll, that wouldn't be bad, but yeah, that'd be great. I know I'd, that's definitely a dream to bring in one of those guys. So I'd coming, uh, Coming from Ontario, almost uh, Toronto was considered uh, to be the center of the universe as far as the hockey uh, business is concerned. But some early thoughts uh, of coming from Ontario to, to PEI. It's a smaller area, but Charlottetown's a pretty good city. Yeah, for sure. It's a nice small city. Like People are very friendly. Uh, my billet, I was lucky to get a really good billet canned along, and uh, it's great there. And It's been nothing but good here so far. Do you have a favorite team, uh, being the hockey player that you are, or a favorite player growing up? Ah, uh, well, I've always uh, admired Marty St. Louis. He's kind of a smaller guy like me and uh, skilled and stuff. So, you know what, if a guy that small can do what he's doing, then that kind of just puts hope for me. So. Yeah, and when you look at, uh, at the situation as far as uh, music, movies, cars, those types of things, what interests you in, the, in those areas? Oh, uh, definitely a big Adam Sandler fan. Uh, really enjoyed his films. He's a pretty funny guy, so yeah. What about cars? Uh, that comes with the, the big signing bonus that you're going to get here eventually. Uh, <laughs> uh, cars, I don't know. Cars, probably. Perhaps you're a truck guy. You know what, actually, uh, James Bond there, when he drove the Aston Martin, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty cool. So I, I'd like to drive one of those if, if it ever uh, happened that I would, became a millionaire. <laughs> High expectations for Spencer Cabold. For Spencer Cabold, I'm George Matthews on Inside the Islanders. Oh, uh -huh.